just uh, went outside the ring and uh, onto that concrete floor. The count is on. It would be a shame to see him lose on a count out, but it looks like that may be what's happening. Four, five, six. Ah, Briscoe got too close. That broke the count. A good break for Brad Armstrong. A good break for him. But Briscoe. Well. Briscoe possibly cutting some corners here. But he has had, as I've said before, he's had the taste of the gold. Twice world heavyweight champion. He'd like to get back into that half million to three quarters of a million dollar a year income figure. As uh, the world heavyweight champion can do. Plus there's a... Uh, Briscoe now, locking in, locking in on the neck of uh, Brad Armstrong, he has locked down on the neck of Brad Armstrong, and the referee calls for the bell, the referee calls for the bell, and Jack Briscoe, Jack Briscoe emerges the victor, that means Jack Briscoe goes on, he will meet. NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair in Baltimore. Uh, you refuse to give Brad Armstrong a week. Well, I'll tell you, Gordon, uh, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to try to win the World Heavyweight Championship, which Ric, Ric Flair holds right now. Now, Brad Armstrong knows that this is a tough business. This ain't no game. It's this time to get in there and go for it. The gold was up at stake, and that was always on my mind. Brad Armstrong, if he wasn't ready for it, then he shouldn't have come out to try to wrestle me because he knew that he was hurt, and I just took advantage of it, Gordon, because one thing for certain is that I've won that championship twice before. I know the money, the prestige that goes along with it, and I want it back, and I intend on it. And, Rick Flair, you be just prepared because I want that world championship for the third time, and Flair is going to be the victim. Well, fair enough. There you